Welcome back everyone to the Mac Team Builder Dynasty. Kent State is 0-8. Rhymes. And look at the players they have. Three custom guys, three big time Patreon prospects, and they can't win a game. Lake Huron, on the other hand, has won five games, which means we are one win away from bowl eligibility. Can we get it done the first time in the series for either team? SMU or Lake Huron, the first time. It's gonna be us. It's gotta be us. We're not gonna lose to an 0 and 8 team today. Oh, you, you definitely can't lose to 0 and 8. If you do, I will forever give you so much grief for well, doing this. You guys go for this on fourth down, and you know, being aggressive here early against an 0 and 8 team, there's no respect being shown here at all. Here's Isaac Hirschberger picking up a good chunk of change there, nearing the goal line at the, about a five yard gain right there. Second and five in this pass. What is Richard Ryder? You guys can imply the meaning there. What's he doing here? Playing quarterback. Look at him go. Look at, like, I, what's oh. happening? How do you tackle this man? He's huge. He's the kind of player that you feel the tackle in the yeah. controller. When he, it's like tackling a mattress. <laughs> <laughs> or a pillow. A fluffy mattress. Anyway, Lake Huron on the board early. Ryder dropping back. Floating one on third and ten. I, again, just not a lot of oomph on his passes right now. Just a lot of uh, loft. A lot of lob going on. Yeah, you think with that body type, you should generate some more stuff there. Uh, Buttermilk gets the touchdown on the run, and then a throw to Ravensburg for two points. Again, super aggressive here, like we were last year against Kent State. But defensively, getting some something going here with Hirschberger, second and two now. Ryder going play action, throws it. <laughs> Manning didn't see him. <laughs> This is, this is insane. I mean, he's not that bad of an overall rated quarterback. So, again, he's, he is 0 for 4 with a pick right now. It's not been good for this team. Well, they are 0 and 8 for a reason. Although Ryder's he's a young player. He's got plenty of time to, to grow into this role here for Kent State. But remember our rule. they The last place finisher in each division will be kicked out of the back for one year. Oh, God. So this is very bad news for Kent State stands out there. Oh, there we go. That's what we want to see out of Ryder. But he goes down. It's so easy. That's the end. Here, Rick Ryder. Okay, now he's going. He's going again. Again. You know, I wonder if he's related to the glitch. He could be. That might be a little storyline there. The size. Third down and 11. A nice pass completion. Here comes Isaac Hirschberger running to the right, making a couple people miss. And then, ooh, he could have. Could have possibly broken that off and gotten a big touchdown gain right there. Look at Rick Ryder right there in the end zone to Pat Crooks for 14 yards and the touchdown strike. I mean, 22 to 8, they do go for two and they will get it. Pass completed here to Ravensburg. I think one yard line. I thought he fumbled that for a second. Second down and goal. Here comes Johnson pounding it in for the touchdown, making it 28 to 8. Just a weird football score, but nonetheless. It is a huge lead here for Lake Huron. And then we got Isaac Hirschberger. Look at him go. Go, baby, go. Tom Cluche, the last man. Last line of defense. They will tackle Hirschberger. He can't get the big score. But here is a pass to Grayson Beatty for the touchdown. Finally, we get to see some Grayson Beatty highlights in this Dynasty Series. Custom he's player. He's had a couple too. of good games, but, you know, he's been a little MIA the last year and a half or so. 29-15, a two-score game. Now here's Isaac Hirschberger again, breaking off one tackler. We got good blocking out in front. Manning the third. Looks like it's his last chance again. He's he's trying so hard to make that big gain turning into a touchdown. And we got a huge drop right there for Kent State. That pass was on the money and he couldn't deliver. But a missed field goal. This is, again, why they're 0-8. Here's Hogan. Bust off the tackle. Cloutier. Manning. Nobody can get there. I feel like our year one defense woke up and suited up here tonight. Look at this. Yeah, Hershberger is having himself a ball game. And then Ryder, we missed the tackle. He's got the touchdown. Cut, cut up. Cut up the field. What are you doing? <laughs> Third down and goal. is going to get stopped at around the four-yard line. Fourth down and goal. Tough call here. They will kick the field goal instead, making it a 29-18 game. So an 11 point deficit here for the Golden Flashes. Third and three, pass complete, David Hamilton for five. Second and 10 as we're entering into the fourth quarter. Fortuna backing up. He's firing out to Chan Buttermilk, who went up for the pass a little early, I guess. Should have had it. Third and 10. Fortuna dropping back. It's enough fling one to Pico. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. 
Wow, I gotta give you claps there. Like, audible clapping right there, man. That's that's tip the cap for you. Yeah, right we Look needed a, I needed a replay from the wow. reverse there. Get the foot down. Very nice play for the former running back. The receiving running back, but we get a big catch and run. Marcus Harris for 35. Riders got someone there. It's Campbell, the fullback. Takes it in for this score. So our defense has evaporated. Typically, we play better defensively in the second half. This is the reverse here, and look at that throw. Back foot for the big man. All right, fourth and inches here with four and a half minutes. We get Smith oh, jumping. Oh, no. I haven't learned my lesson yet. I'm always jumping. Don't, Luke, don't do this to me. <laughs> don't do this to your fans out there. The web wonders. You're going you're gonna to make this happen, aren't you? I like jumping. No, you're going to lose this game, right? I'm not going to lose this 36 to 26. Game. Unbelievable. Here comes Hirschberger. He's got good blocking in front. Touchdown. Golden flashes. Hirschberger's in. And it is 30. You let this team come back. He like jumping. 36. It should be 33. Not go for two here. Yes. Okay. 36-33. Pass. Ravensburg. Very risky pass. Oh. And Ravensburg yet again drops the ball. Fourth down and seven. You will punt it away. And it is a dang good punt. No. It just got out of bounds. It's a touchback. We can make it, they're going to start at the 20. So here comes Rick Ryder and the offense. There's Beatty for the first down. Two minutes. Actually, a lot of time killed off here. A minute and 40. Here's Dahl with the first down. A very generous spot here. Third and Atari seven. Dahl. Third and seven. Going across to Beatty. He's got room to run. Can't break the tackle down at the 50. Yard line, fourth and two. Got to bear down. They're running it, and Ryder's got plenty of space. If he cuts up field, and the mattress goes down, <laughs> takes a couple people. They got the tackle. One timeout left, guys. 57 seconds, and Ryder looking for somebody open. He's got good protection, and then Beatty with the in traffic catch. What a grab. Third down and four, guys. 34 seconds. Here's Ryder. Pass incomplete. Oh, fourth and four. They will attempt a field goal, but now a flag, a false start's going to push him back even further. Remember, this kicker did miss. He clanked it off the uprights in the last attempt. Second to last attempt, and it's tied. You let this team all the way back. That is unreal. Because but I like to jump. 36th all, 26 seconds. You've got all three timeouts. You can do this. this. Ransom, do big game. <gasps> what a move. Maybe getting out of bounds, maybe not. We'll call timeout. We only 12 seconds. You got this. All right, big game there. First and ten. Fortuna dropping back. Gonna have to throw it away though. And now seven seconds. We got one play to pick up about 15, 20 yards. Got it. Pico got it for 16. Timeout. Don't Kick. miss. We had, we had kicking struggles earlier this year. Ariza Balaga. Got Good. It. Congratulations. You have now officially become bowl eligible. Do you believe in miracles? I don't believe what I just saw. <laughs> Blake Huron in a bowl game. We've actually been killing it on the field this year. And even in Sim beating Buffalo in a Sim game. Man, Cash Fortuna, we brought him in. You guys remember at the very first video, we were getting a program culture build. Now this, now, this is what's really kind of kicking me right now. I have to win this game, and I don't know if this is going to be even possible at all. And we get to, well, there it is. When I, I let out an audible screech when this happened, <laughs> like of amazement. You were sitting yeah, right there. You well, were like, no, you decided to send this game I because did. you're going to play the next two against Central and Western because right. you have better odds of beating them on the field. Right. You're punting this game. And you beat a top 10 Northern Illinois. I know. It was ridiculous. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, because you're exactly right, the reason why this game was sim was because of that. I'm thinking I, I like my odds better in gameplay versus Central or Western or even Ohio Western because those are the last three teams on our schedule. Don't play these guys because you're likely going to lose. You don't, we only have so many games we can play in gameplay. Um, you know, It's getting to the point now during the series lifespan we got to determine – where we're going to move faster a little bit. So big win for us. You beat Kent State. You're bowl eligible. We are one game away from being bowl el eligible. And uh, that loss against you really hurt, really stung. Right. But, you know, and that win against me allowed you to do this. It's very helpful. But you guys see our record in the MAC 
five and one, we are not dead yet in the MAC East title chase. Alpina does beat Buffalo 63 to seven. The Richard Doyle train was stopped cold, dead in its tracks. 656 yards and Doyle threw three picks. Rich Doyle, poor guy. Dick Doyle. Well, Aiden Oliver came in, threw a couple touchdowns, the glitch. Getting some work in there, a couple touchdowns from the glitch. And just a good win for number six, Alpina. So resetting the table, the MAC West standings, you got Ohio Western pretty much in the clear now that yep. NIU has lost to them and lost to you. And Central probably too far back there as well. There's still a couple weeks left in the season. Anything can happen, right? So we got three weeks left here left to go. So Ohio Western would have to lose a couple times. But let's talk about the East here. We got Lake Huron at five and one, Ohio at five and one, and Alpena at five and one. So here's what's remaining on the schedule for Alpena. They've got Ohio, Miami of Ohio, you. So all of your opponents yes. are basically the same here at this point. Like. Mexican standoff, circular firing squad, right? But basically, pretty much. So it's going to be very interesting these last couple weeks to see if you're going to hang on. Yeah. If you're going to hang in the contention here. South Dakota and they're slipping a little bit here. Eight and two. They're one point loss to Kentucky, which I mean, that hurts. SEC, <laughs> SEC. Look at where Northern Illinois was. They're now rated 19th. Well, they go from eight to nine. I 19. think they're still overrated, personally. All right. So now, if, if we just beat. Ball State. That was a big one there. Yeah, but, but you know, you got a seven and two Central team who's not world beaters, and then you got one and eight Western. I think you pick up one of those games, and you are going to bowl again. But you got to do it first. Yep. And I, I could have decided to sim this one and play against Western Michigan. We kind of have their number in gameplay for the last couple seasons of this dynasty. And I was thinking, you know what? No, we're not going to just hide away behind a 7-2 and two Central Michigan. We're not going to go away. We're going to try to come out here and beat a very good team. If we can beat Northern Illinois in Sim, we can definitely beat this dang team. So let's get it done, guys. we got Michael Wilson here with a 10-yard grab, third down and eight. And then to James Moore in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Smooth. The Robins strike first. 7-7 seven seven there for Bailey Verlease. Second down and five. Here's Jace Bauer. Handing it off to Javian Stepney. Bay softly with the tackle there. 31 yards. So, you know, more things change, the more they stay the same, I guess. Our run defense still can't stop anybody. Thomas Motley with a 15-yard catch. First and goal. Here's Bauer. He's going to take off and run for it. No, he actually slings it to Tyson Davis. So it's like, what? What am I supposed to do? We had Benjamin Payton out there on defense. And he's all trying to like make a pick, trying to come down and what a strange series of events. It, it just like he asked too much of him. He's trying to defend the quarterback, and then now he's got to try to make an interception on the throw. It's crazy. Now, what is this happening here? First down and goal. We're going to hand this off, Billy Smith, to Glover. And Glover's like, That's I don't know good. where to go with this. But Stick to the tried and true plays. We are noticing something here in the defense. We are going to do it again. I'm serious. Here it comes. Smith with the handoff. Glover passes it over here to Smith. We've got blockers in no front. Only way. one man, man to beat. Touchdown. I've never seen that type yeah. of play. Yeah. Billy Smith. If you guys remember, he was one of our, I think, year two, year two prospects that we had to sign over here. And then we got a turnover. We got Burrell making two guys miss, and he's gone. That's a pick six. Look at this. This is a blowout. Seven and two Central. They're they're just they're paper tiger. Look at hey, this. It's twenty four to seven. You have a winning record. Own it. Act like you have a winning record. Well, we do some stupid things like that. So like go up for the pick, man. Yeah. Unbelievable here. Second quarter, less than thirty seconds to go. Here comes Bauer running for it. Jamar Lance can't make the tackle. Shaper. Trying to go down and make a tackle here. Time is ticking away. They do have one more timeout. Bauer taking off, scrambling. You got to watch out for the pass, I guess, at that point. After that last touchdown that they had. So this is touchdown number two. Bauer runs it in. And now it's 24-14. So just for the box score purposes here, yeah, we got to show this. You got to show how the interception happens. So that is a turnover. And most people would think, what are you doing? It's the end of the half. It's the end of the half. I don't Leashes care. Leashes is taking a knee. Yeah, maybe. I don't care. I want I want a big play. I want a big play. I want this thing 31-14. Or 24. What? 31-14. <laughs> what am I looking at here? Here's Stepney. May softly with the tackle. Pick up a 10. 
Yeah, Chippewas chipping away at the lead here. 24-14 and a touchdown. It's Finn Hogan. Yeah, that hurts. So back-to-back -back touchdowns by Central. We got to get a response here, guys. Have to. Need it. Seattle. Third and 11. <laughs> Verlease. It's not open. He's running for it, though. Seattle didn't. He's get gone. Oh, no, Bailey. He's hurt. He's hurt. And a three-point game. We're relying on Nico Billups, the backup quarterback from season number one. Look at that. Roll out cheese, baby. James Moore with the, the catch. This is the last stand of the guys that we made as players. Yep. You're number five. Nico's going to go down here with a sack. Third and 15. And he... Oh, Bailey Release is actually coming back into the ball game here. And look at this throw to Big Nick Dockery. 21 yards on the play. Picking up the first down. And now here we go again. It's coming back. It's coming back. We're going to run it again. Second and goal. Smith to Glover. Glover to Smith. That's ridiculous. Touchdown. <laughs> you lie. Let's go. This didn't happen. Orlando Glover, two of two for two touchdowns. This video was generated by AI. <laughs> Jamar Lance with the assist on the tackle. This is a out. deep fake. Levante Green Jr. cleaning it up. Third down and six, and Hogan's going to make the grab on a screen. We might have lucked out right there, because if we get a touchdown here, this could seal it, guys. Nico Billix actually checks in yet again on this down and distance here. Good little handoff to Benjamin Payton for a couple yards. Third down and inches, and we're going to try to get cute with it, I guess. Oh, Up stop by it. 10. Oh, Billy Smith can't pick it up. He's going to go down for a loss on the play. We will attempt a field goal. Now, here is the kick. It is up, and... Oof. Okay, it cleared. We're good. We're good. 34-21. Big hit on Hogan. Looking for an incomplete pass. Looking for a fumble, potentially. But first down and goal. Here's Bauer with the handoff, and nobody's going to tackle Stepney. So Central's still hanging on. They're still hanging in there. 34-28. So up by six. Central's got no timeouts left. Third down and five. Got to pick this thing up. And Verlis going to slide down. Picks up the first down. And, guys, that is a W. Southern Michigan is also eligible for a bowl game. Yeah, we're so trying to one-up me. We matched. We matched you. Punch I for punch. qualified first. <laughs> oh, because we had the night game? We had no, the night, we, we had the night game. A, a week ago. I qualified first. All right, now we... Shift over to the MAC East. We have the Alpina Alpacas versus the Ohio Bobcats. Bobcats are still in this thing. It's going to take a big upset, but nobody walks into Peden Stadium with an easy game. Okay? It's true. I watched Pittsburgh and Ohio in 2005. Tyler Palco throws a pick six to lose to Frank Solich. I want to know who even is watching this video right now, if they can even remember what you're talking about. I want to know. You guys post it in the comment section if you have any idea what he's talking about right now. We were Tyler all Palco. witnesses. Tyler Palco. We were all witnesses. Hey, check this out. Kent State gets a W they against finally, Bowling Green. They finally get a W. <laughs> it's 7 nothing early going here. Alpacas, you know, they're finding themselves in a tough spot. This is a tough Ohio team. These guys are not an easy out, as I mentioned before. And now they're going to run here on a little sweet play. Get the first down. That's going to be Jack Soriano getting getting him involved here early. You got El Caraz pump fake. Hmm. Incomplete on third down. First incompletion of the game. Ohio defense playing nice here. Third and 13. Bob Jacket. You know, if he could get a win in this game, this would be probably the biggest game of his career. Of and like look at look at look at Ben Gura right there. That was an amazing effort on a screen play. First and 10, pass completed. Down to the 10, Marcus Allen's been here for quite a while. Yeah, and Baker is also like an eighth year senior. Yeah, what, I mean, what is that? It's like he doesn't leave. Andre Wiley with the catch, and they'll settle for the field goal. So 10 to six, we finally get some glitch action here in this game. And he's got one, maybe two guys left to beat him. And he's gonna get all the way to about the 35, about 35 right here. Third and 14. Got Aiden Oliver checking in. He got some injuries to the quarterback position there. And that's going to drop incomplete. So fourth and 14. Kick will be up. And off oh, the upright. Oh no. The black magic is turning against them here. I wonder what Bob Jacket has up his sleeve. Did he sell his soul, potentially? Hopefully not. 
<laughs> 10 to 6. Here is Alcaraz, so Alpina back here with the football. Ohio's last possession, they couldn't do anything with it. First and goal, here is Alcaraz. Easy. Walk in, touchdown, and Alpina's now up on top. So, question Did you kick the field? Did you get the extra point? Yes. Yeah, of course. 13 to 10. Ohio needs some answers on offense. Alpacas start with the football here. Oh big time God. hit. That's Connor Roberts. Ooh. Big time recruit. Patreon recruit. He's been uh He's had a nice career so far. He's all he gets I, involved. Yeah, I've been waiting to see him in gameplay, so really nice to see that. And then, oh look at this tackle again. Second down. Now third and twenty-two. That is Justin Lawrence with the sack. Third and twenty-two. Here we go. El Caraz. Pass. Incomplete. Look at this Ohio defense, man. They're swarming. They're swarming. They return. Going to get oh, get it past the 40-yard line here. Around the 40. Get a first and 10 throw from Bob Jacket to Robbie Garcia again. This is another eighth-year senior. <laughs> Something like that. Bangura. Look at this. Look at this methodical offense, man. Look at this. Touchdown. Touchdown. Over the glitch. 17-13. Ohio takes the lead, guys. Bobcat loves it. Let's see what Alpina's got cooking here. First and 10, mid part of the third quarter, and that's another big time sack by Connor Roberts. Three TFLs here already in the football game. Third down and 13, incomplete again. Al Karaz, dude, 91 yards for him passing. They've been shut down on offense. The glitch punting inside the two. Yeah, he's a glitch. Now, he's actually playing. Look at it. He's on the end right now. He's on defense. And oh, whoa. <laughs> Look at this. The Black Magic Man's turning against him. Did you guys see that? That play almost deflected the diving play. Look at Bob Jacket trying to roll around here. He's going to get sacked. That's unfortunate because they will give the football back to the Alpacas. Here comes the glitch, making a couple moves. He's going to shrug off one man, get the first down. They're going to have to really rely on the glitch. He's now playing quarterback here. Alcaraz just has not gotten it done. Look at him go here. Past the 30, past the 20. Oh, the big hit. He wasn't even ruled down yet, even though his back was down. And remember the stakes here. The winner is in firm control of the MAC East to get to the MAC title game. Fourth down and five. Jack Soriano's only going to pick up 10. They are going to not elect oh, to take field goal. Bad call. They're going for this thing. Here comes the pass, and then it will be incomplete. He broke it up. The throw was right there. Oh, he McCullough turned his the catch. He turned his head around, and right in front of him were three Bobcat defenders. I would have dropped the ball too. Let's be honest. Well, Ohio going to have to punt here again, so they cannot get this thing going offensively to put. The alpacas away, but you start to think that field goal would put Alpina in a very good situation. Of course it would. You get a stop, you get another field goal, win, wins the game. So now it's like you have to get a touchdown here. So the glitch, first and ten. Pass going to be completed to Corliss McCullough, who's the man that dropped the football before. So nice little comeback there. So a draw play with Casper Grimshaw. I don't think that the Ohio defense was ready for that one at all. That's too not. easy. The glitch. Running option. He's got some room. He's not even like juking anybody, but yet those were just enough to get the job done. Al Karaz with the run. Connor Roberts, unbelievable game right now. Five TFLs. Third and 13, pressure coming on Al Karaz. They're going to get stopped. Fourth down and 15 with a minute 55. They still have all three timeouts. Now would have been the time to kick the field goal again to win. <laughs> again. Fourth and 15. They're going to go screen. And a big hit by Connor Roberts, and look at this. The pressure got to him. It's going to fall incomplete. I love the third down screen. Dude, yeah. he has gone off tonight. Gone off tonight. Player of the game. Here's Bob Jacket to close things out. Unnecessarily, perhaps, to throw that football. But, hey, got it done. And he is not the player of the game. There's no way. 22, 29, 235. He didn't turn the ball over. Connor Roberts I, was your player. I, probably, I like what Bob Jacket did. That was the biggest game of his career, and he came through finally. But I, I definitely would have given it to Connor Roberts. Like, yeah, well, a big win for Ohio and a devastating loss for Alpina. This might be the first year that they are not going to the MAC title. A stunner. But we will go here to non-MAC 
play, non-Maction. Two teams that will be entering the MAC next year, currently independent, even though the MAC logo, they're, they're already getting ready for next year. Got the MAC logo on the field already, you know? <laughs> they have the MAC's blessing. Okay. Yep. Gary Gladiators, South Dakota AM, fighting pheasants. Lachlan Gidry takes it for the score, 7 0 pheasants early on the road. It's kind of been a minute since we've seen these two teams, I feel like, hasn't it? Well, they've been playing, just, they're playing independent ball, you know? Yeah, we don't need to watch all, all their games. Look at this. Look at this run, though. Oh, my God. Uriah Mayo for 38. How many tackles did he break? Like six on that play? It's ridiculous. Third down and 11. It's been a little bit since we've seen Skylar Abreu. He was hurt for a little while. He's back. He's ready to go. Although, he won't be around next year. Yeah, didn't get to see him enough, apparently. So second down and four. Here is Abreu. Pass completed. They're going to be short, aren't they? Yes. Third down and inches. Here's Jacob Gloss with the catch, and then a little toss play on third and inches, trying to sneak this one by him. They will. Down the first down, down at the one yard line. Touchdown here, Uriah Mayo. Nice Not to down one yard line. Nice to see him get a little credit for all those big runs that he's had in this first half, for sure. Getting a touchdown, hitting Hater. Second down and eight. Look at Lachlan Goodry. Guy's just nuts. He's nuts. Yeah, he's another good one that should be graduating. If I recall correctly. Big run there. Riley Strange on the sweep play. First and goal. Duckett, who was getting some Heisman love early. I think that campaign's over with the loss to Kentucky and now throws like that. Yeah, when you're 8-2, and two, making throws like that now. You know, in the last couple games, I feel like his campaign is starting to slide a little bit. Here's a deep bomb. Look at this. We've seen this a couple times with this big-time receiver, Jamie Robinson. He is a big frame, tall, fast, wide receiver, number one. And that's what he does. Big time touchdowns. Here's Duckett on the run. Gets drilled and loses the football. Oh. Ball's going the other way. And we have a penalty. It's going against the Pheasants. It's going to be a holding call. So, Gary has the ball again. And they are threatening. And a touchdown throw to Davison Collins. You know, even when Abreu leaves, I feel like they should have enough next year in the passing game to still be a very, very strong team. I think that's what we're looking at heading into Mac play. You know, Abreu, even though he's gone, this offense still has got some w weapons that are still going to be around. I mean, look at it. He's got a touchdown here, good blocking in front, good O-line. Receiving core should be a little bit better, too. 28-10 against their rival. Like, what is happening here to Sadamu? They're, they're dropping this. They're dropping the ball here. 8-2. About to be 8-3. They can't move the ball. Look at Gary now. Just pounding it with Mayo. 13-yard game. 31-10 game, guys. And another score pending here. There we get a deflection. Field goal. 34. 34-10. Okay. 34-10. This Third game, and six. game looks like it's going to be over here. We're running a draw. Gidry, no chance. Gets bottled up. And as the third quarter is winding down, Abreu flings one out, and that is intercepted. So maybe, possibly a little momentum change here. We shall see. Fourth quarter underway. Still down by 24, though. There's a, the ducket that we know and love. Look at the run there. 17 yards. Keep turning those legs, man. Keep churning. Keep but, chopping. But, but, but then that. Then but that, he throws an interception. Then that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, what is that? Not good. And yeah. they're going home sad and disappointed. Oh, we got a New Mexico logo back there somewhere. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Now you know who we are playing. East New Mexico, right? Mm -hmm. We all remember the Lobos and the four wins that they would give us every season on average. That was unfortunate for Sadamu. You know, it was a face plant. It was a face plant kind of game, for sure. Especially how they started the season, and now they're ending the year on a little bit of a slide. So, Swoon. Yeah, it's just it's just you you, um, you take for granted good teams when they're cons like how consistent that they are. It's just auto like oh it's an autom it's automatic. They're just good. They're automatic. It's like you realize how many things that could go wrong in a given season. Yet yeah, those right. good teams they find ways to stay consistent. Now let's get to your game here. We've got. Cash Fortuna driving his team down the field. 
I don't even was that intended for Pico there? Yeah, sure. But it's touchdown. <laughs> touchdown. Like it was intended to the guy in the end zone. There. Well, in this game here, Miami of Ohio is not out of this yet. You guys saw their finishing kick of the, the uh, season. And as soon as I say that, I mean, good lord, Devin Dorsey. We're touchdown. facing the son of Michael Vick here. I mean, good. Oh. It's just horrible. You don't even know what to say. No, I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> but uh, this game in the MAC East, Miami of Ohio, they finish against Lake Huron, Alpena, and Ohio. Their last three games. So they're going to have to make this thing count. And today is where it all begins. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. You're like, you're six and three, they're five and four. It's like this team is really in the midst of a divisional championship here. I mean, I feel like we are a little bit of a paper tiger. There's a big completion of Ravensburg. But we, we're playing the three hardest teams to close. So there's a good chance that we lose all three of these games and go five and four, which is still a very good season for us in the MAC. But this is the guy I was talking about, Michael Vick, <laughs> 2.0, running all over the look, field. Look at him go, man. Avion Smith. He's, he's hard. He's hard to corral, for sure. But we will go into the half up by a point. It's 21-20. And there's Smith again, just taking it and running. Look at the cuts. Look at the cuts. Time blocks, missed tackles. He's gone. He's gone. Did what he's, there's no way, there's no way he's catching No. Him. Nope, it's way too fast. He blew, he's, yeah. He burned everybody. 72 yards on the play. He, he might be better than Michael Nick. Oh, God, don't, don't you go down that road. <laughs> Here's Smith with the catch. Actually, Miami, Ohio will go for two. They will get it, so making this a touchdown game here. 28-21, to 21. and then here's Chan Buttermilk pounding his way into the end zone. You're down by one. Kick the extra point. I know you kind of get crazy hey, sometimes. I don't go that crazy. Sometimes. Please. Sometimes. Here comes Smith again. So it's tough because you, you try to take his arm away, and his legs kill you again. Second and goal. Look at this. Oh, my God. This dude's guy just got... Drilled. Keon Mozi, I remember that name. Oh, he's had some big games in this series. Fourth down and three in a seven point game for Tuna. What you got? Pass completed to Hamilton. That's a gutsy play call. Start of the fourth quarter. That's very, very risky. Here's Morris with the catch for 10. First and 10 for Tuna. Looking up the middle. No, nope, oh. he's going to look to the side. And that's Khan with the interception. Here comes Fortuna trying to make the tackle. Oh no! You're gonna you're gonna botch it, aren't you? You're gonna well, botch it. Since when do I make that type of throw on the outside? I don't know. I always go up the middle, don't I? You I usually go up the middle. Yeah. Decided not to go up the middle. Engage eight. Bringing everybody. Bust off tackle. Mozi. How in the world does he break those tackles? This is very disappointing. Oh no! The big hit. The big stiff arm. Out at the one yard line. You're bringing the house. You're bringing the heat. Looking for Smith and. He's going to find his wide receiver. That's Nate Mersh. Yeah, that was a sellout kind of play. Fortuna rolling out. Let's get some rollout cheese going in the house. I think I got oh, this. Yeah, you, do. you do. Daniel Take a Smith. rollout cheese once in a while. You, well, you can take one. and you That's the one you use. Sure. I always forget the rule. It was a two or three or one. <laughs> it's whatever I feel like. Oh, here comes Smith again. Look at him go. Michael Dick gets the first down. Down to the 10. Mozi fumbles the football. We got a fumble. Oh my god, are they gonna overturn this? This is what I'm just afraid of. I this is the biggest. I feel like that was a fumble. I feel, like it's, I feel like it's clean. Looks clean to me. I'm gonna just replay this just to be sure. See what it was. Uh, you're leaving me on, an, on the edge here. Ah, uh, he's down. No way. Where's his, his knees? Uh, his knees down. They're gonna get it. I'm gonna call it. timeout. I'm gonna try to have the replay guy forget. <laughs> what he just saw, see if I can glitch him out, but that doesn't work. No, nope. so they go straight to the booth. Ah, man, that sucks. That sucks. They're gonna take it away from us. That would have been absolutely huge because they're in field goal range right now, and it's late in the game. We're selling out again. Looks like you're just selling out for the touchdown, and maybe keep the game extended as long. I needed as you can. a massive yardage loss. Yeah, and I didn't. Have it. Okay, but we do have the ball back, right? Maybe we can make a play. Nope. No. Bill Stevens. Of course, it's Bill Stevens. He's always coming up with interceptions. He's he, all over the field. He's yeah. dynamic. I mean, this guy was around in the Big 12 team builder. ACU, always coming up with picks. 
First and 10, 49 to 35 in another pick, and I don't really count that against you. You're just trying to make something happen, and it ain't happening. It's over. The, the dream for the Web Wonders. It's not technically over. It's over. <laughs> it's if we over. beat Ohio and we beat Alpena, we can win the match. No way. This thing's toast. It's over. Box score time, everybody. 37-10 victory here for Indiana. Gary, they beat up on Sadamu. Sadamu now goes from, I think they were 18 or 16. They go down to 23. Gary, still unranked, even though that was a really good victory for them. Mayo went off. We got Abreu, the player of the game, on their side. Hey, Gary is climbing out of a major hole. It, it is. start of the season. It's true. They'll probably get some top 25 love if they keep winning games. Nice victory here for us, 34 to 28. Central Michigan kind of hung around just a little bit, but we were able to weather the storm and take care of business. We had Glover, two of two for two touchdowns, so we had to pull out some trickery in order to beat these guys. I but, don't support what you did there. But it was we, immoral. We still got it done. So Billy Smith, two catches for 13 yards and two scores. Now on central side, I do like to make sure that we're giving some custom love. We did not get a catch for the tight end Wisniewski. So just wanted to see what his box would look like. But let's not forget about this matchup. Ohio beats Alpina. What a game that this was. Bob Jacket, the best game of his career. Not statistical, but as far as importance goes, he came up clutch and got it done. We need more out of the glitch, man. He tried to run the ball effectively, but I mean, he needed like to make some plays on defense, maybe. Yeah. You know, they missed a field goal too when the glitch was too tired to kick. <laughs> so that was a big missed field goal right there that they had. All right, Miami beating Lake Huron. Not a good showing for the Web Wonders, especially against the run. Smith, a.k.a. Michael Vick, had 230 yards rushing, and he had 169 passing, and Fortuna throws four picks. This was just bad. I mean, it was a face plant, word of the day, type of game for us. Moving on next week, we've got a 1-9 Western Michigan team, and I think we should, I think we should beat these guys. Simply put, move to well, seven wins. That's a big game for your prestige if you get the seven wins. You got Ohio Western and Central. Big game for them. Ohio Lake Huron, huge game in the MAC East. Also, huge game in the MAC East. Miami versus Alpena. Alpena needs to win that one to stay alive, and they need help from us as well. All right, the following week, you got Ohio Western SMU, top 10 team for you. No problem against NIU, though. <laughs> and we play Alpena. You got Gary versus Notre Dame in a Indiana matchup, and then you have Navy, South Dakota A&M to close out the regular season in week 14. All right, take a look at the top 25 here. This is the CFP, Ohio Western. I thought they were gonna have a down season this this year, but they have somehow climbed all the way back and they're eight and two, number five in the country. In the CFP, they're number eight in the other polls. Right. So the committee loves them some action. Now, if they can find a way to get to that MAC championship game, which I think they are going to, on pace for if sure. they can win it, MAC has started to get a little bit more credibility, some more street cred. I think that they could find themselves in the playoff. Yeah, no kidding. And Duckett is still in the Heisman race. I don't exactly know why, <laughs> but he lost a little bit of ground with that bad game against the Gladiators. And resetting the deck here in the standings. We talked about this. Ohio in the driver's seat. And Alpena, Miami playing each other is a knockout game. This is so huge. Lake Huron, if we beat Ohio somehow and beat Alpena, we would go to the MAC title game. Doubtful. Look at Ohio, though. They have to finish on the road against both of those teams. Miami of Ohio, we talked about them. At Alpena, host Ohio. And then the next team up, Alpina. Alpacas, both games at home. <laughs> so it's setting up pretty well for Alpina. Jeez, there's just so much craziness happening right now between yes. these three teams. And then we close, obviously, on the road against the Alpacas. And we look at the MAC West. Ohio Western is in the MAC title game. They have a two game edge on Northern Illinois with two games to go, plus the tiebreaker. So Ohio Western has clinched the MAC West title. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it here for this week of action for our Mac Team Builder. Make sure you guys tune in next Saturday for the next episode here. We've got week number 13. 
and week 14 action to close out the rest of the season. And then before you know it, we'll be talking about bowl games. We'll be talking about championship games. Hopefully you're in it. Hopefully you can somehow pull this thing off. We're all going to a bowl game. Yeah. All six of our teams. For once. For once. This is the first time in this series that that's happened. It's it's crazy. It's good. It's good, though. We, we've struggled long enough for this to happen. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad. So guys, leave a like if you like this thing. We'll see you next Saturday for the conclusion of season number five. As always, thank you so much for watching and peace.